Before proceeding, please make sure to subscribe to Intel Maniac and turn on the bell icon for upcoming videos. You can always support my work with your likes, comments and shares. And you can join me on Facebook and Instagram at Dental Maniac. For images and transcripts, please visit my Patreon page, the link for which is given here above. An abscess is a cavity filled with pus caused by an infection. A periapical abscess is the accumulation of pus around the root apex of a non-vital tooth. A periapical abscess can be acute or symptomatic and chronic or asymptomatic. Both acute and chronic periapical abscess has a pulpal origin and arises from a necrotic pulp whose irritants have traveled into the periapical tissues. An acute periapical abscess can be localized or diffuse. Localized periapical abscess is limited only to the periapical area. The pus is accumulated within the periapical zone while diffuse abscess can penetrate through an area of the least resistance, usually the buccal cortical plates of bone, and invades into the adjacent soft tissues, thereby causing cellulitis or osteomyelitis, which is a severe condition and will be covered in my upcoming videos. In this tutorial, we will look into the localized type of acute periapical abscess and the chronic periapical abscess. A chronic periapical abscess is an inflammatory lesion of the pulpal origin that has resulted from a long-standing lesion in the periapical area, such as a periapical granuloma. In chronic periapical abscess, the pus is constantly drained with the help of a sinus tract. The sinus tract is a pathological tract that has connected the abscess to an intra- or extraoral site. Both in acute and chronic types, since the pulp tissue within a tooth is necrotic, that's why the tooth is asymptomatic. In acute periapical abscess, since the pus is accumulated in the periapical area, where the nerves underlying the abscess are constantly under pressure, that's why a patient experiences extreme spontaneous pain, and the tooth is very sensitive to both percussion and palpation. Patients with acute abscess also experience generalized symptoms like elevated body temperatures and localized lymphadenitis. In chronic apical abscess, as the pus is constantly drained through the sinus tract, the patient has no pain on percussion or palpation. In chronic apical abscess, a patient might experience episodic pain when the extra or intraoral opening of the sinus tract is occluded through a granulation tissue at the opening of the sinus tract called the parolis. This results in pressure elevations in the periapical area and causes acute exacerbations of the chronic abscess. The acute periapical abscess, since it develops rapidly, little or no bone resorption can be seen radiographically. The initial radiographic change is limited to the thickening of the pedial space around the tooth apex. However, in chronic periapical abscess, small radiolucent areas at the root apex with poorly defined margins can be observed. In histopathologic samples, an acute abscess appears to be a zone of liquefaction necrosis which is made up of necrotic tissues, bacteria, and a large number of live or dead neutrophils. In chronic abscess, chronic inflammatory cells like lymphocytes, plasma cells, and macrophages are seen. The pus discharging sinus tract in chronic abscess is lined either by granulation tissue or by a squamous epithelial lining. Both acute and chronic periapical abscess are treated by drainage of the abscess. Antibiotics are also administered against the offending microorganisms and the affected tooth is treated either by root canal treatment or by extraction if there isn't adequate tooth structure left. In cases of chronic abscess, excavation of the sinus tracts might also be required. I hope this video helps. If you think this video was really helpful, please do like, subscribe, share and comment if you have any questions. Thank you for watching.